Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 16 of Lightroom Quick Tips. You know, quite often I get emails from folks telling me that they're using Lightroom 5, but their version of Lightroom doesn't look like my Lightroom that I'm using in the videos. Specifically, their sliders are different. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why that happened and what you need to do to fix it. Now, if you look over here on the left-hand side, you can see I'm in Adobe Lightroom 5. But if we look at the basic panel here, you can see I have temp and tint like always and exposure, but then there's recovery and fill light. Like what the heck are those? And where did shadows, highlights, and whites go to? Well, what this indicates is we're using a different process engine. This specifically is the process engine in Lightroom 3. And it's real easy to accidentally switch your process engine. And to switch it back, all you need to do is go down here to this bottom tab, Camera Calibration. And you can see it says Process right here. You can see currently it's, it's set to 2010. If I open up that drop-down, you can see there's three process engines, 2003, 2010, and 2012. And next to 2012, it says Current. So all we have to do is switch it to 2012 Current. Now you can see it changed the processing of my image because we're using a different process engine. Now we'll go up to the basic panel and you can see we have our typical Lightroom 5 uh, sliders back. So we have highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Now as I mentioned, it changed the processing. So this could be a bad thing. Let's say you're processing a bunch of images in Lightroom 5 with the current process engine and somehow you accidentally switch the process engine to 2010 it's going to change all your processing you realized you did that you switch it back to 2012 well it's not going to get you back to where you started because it's just going to switch it again and it's going to be somewhere else so what you need to do if you accidentally did that is go over to the left hand panel and go to the history tab and just go back to where right prior to where you inadvertently switched it to an earlier process engine. You can see right here I inadvertently uh, switched it to 2010. So let's just put it on the step right before that which when I exported this image to my hard drive two days ago. So we're going to click on that and you can see it brought back my original edits. I'm going to close that down just to give us more room. And you can see over here, we have our original edits back in here, just like it was. And this is the image I did export and upload it to 500px and Facebook and stuff like that. So that's how you could switch back from or switch between process engines. Now, another use for this, I guess, is if you're on the internet and you see a demonstration of something you want to copy for an image but it's an older demonstration from Lightroom 3 so they're using the older process engine it would be hard to translate what that person is demoing in that video or in that article into Lightroom 5 well what you could do is change your process engine to the 2010 and then do exactly what they're doing in the video or in the article and you'll be able to achieve uh, the you know similar results that way so that's something to keep in mind too so I hope that helps some folks I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos guys I've kind of run out of ideas of what to do for Lightroom quick tips and in my learn Lightroom 5 video series if you guys have any suggestions please leave them in the comments below I'll see if I could do a video on anything you suggest um, I'm kind of patiently waiting for Lightroom 6 to come out. Then I'm going to do all new videos for that. And they're, of course, always going to be free and on YouTube. So, again, I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.